training inside these office buildings. So uh, it was very quickly we had a, uh, a group of about 20 officers who started going floor to floor through that building. Uh, within a few minutes more, we got um, uh, additional calls, but I think these calls were uh, based on some of the uh, staffers and other people that are here saying, hey, I heard about an active shooter, and um, so uh, they were calling friends, family members who were then calling uh, 911 again. So I think we, we have really this all started with one call that um, Metropolitan Police got at 2.30. Um, right now we have close to 200 police officers going floor to floor through all three Senate office buildings. We've actually cleared uh, one of the buildings. The other two are nearly clear. Uh, we gave a, a, an order uh, very quickly to, for the staff to shelter in place um, as we were going door to door to, uh, to check uh, each office building. And once we would get to the office building, we go inside the office building, check all the people there, all the rooms. We, um, uh, some of the people were asking if they could leave, so they were, they were able to leave. Uh, but the shelter-in-place order is, is still in place for those folks that are, that are still there. Um, but we weren't stopping people from leaving. We are stopping people from getting back in the building at this point. Um, so, uh, again, the, the, um, uh, we've had the advantage of, of having trained for this uh, over the last couple of years, and um, we had a, a, a very quick response. But so far, nothing. We found uh, nothing uh, uh, concerning. Uh, we've got nobody that has that actually heard shots, um, and certainly nobody, no victims. Um, and uh, as we've gone through the building, no one has said that they've seen anything. The original lookout was for a, uh, a heavyset Hispanic male wearing um, a uh, wearing body armor. Uh, but again, no one's actually. Uh, we had no other information, no confirmation of that. All right. Um, so now all three, all three Senate office buildings have been cleared, um, and uh, so I'll, I'll take any questions you all might have. Chief, are you worried about tomorrow at all? Um, uh, we, we're, we're prepared for tomorrow. We've uh, um, been working with our partners um, from uh, uh, our partner agencies here, MPD, U.S. Park, Secret Service, um, and uh, uh, Federal Protection Service. We've all been working together uh, in preparation for whenever, um, if, if the indictment in fact did happen. We've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now. Um, so uh, we've had a couple of phone calls today. So yeah, we're prepared for Chief, whatever might happen. Chief, could you talk about the 911 call originally? Chief, okay. would you expect that the sentence would go up overnight? No. No. Chief, can you talk about the 911 call? Did they hear shots in the call or just see this no, person? No. Um, uh, uh, no, the. the um, uh, the call from MPD uh, did not indicate that they heard anything. It was just uh, someone saying that uh, that uh, there was an active shooter, gave a description, um, and said it was in the Hart building at the time. Do you believe that there's a motive behind this call? Is there any motive behind this call? I, I, that I don't know, and, and that I don't know. Have you made initial contact with anyone who might have made that first 911 call? Has there no. been any attempt? No, the, to the call, up? the call, the original caller to MPD, the call just bounces back from. Uh, they've tried a couple of times, and it comes back to a different location every time. She, MPD came footage? out pretty early and said that they didn't find anyone and there were no injuries. What explains them getting out so far ahead of you guys? I'm not sure that that's the case, but we can look at the time frame. But yeah, I think we I think the, the original call. Um, that we got, or the inf original information, was that it was in the Hart building, and uh, we were the first ones to respond to the Hart building, and that was within seconds of us getting the information. And it, how many agencies responded? Is it just you and MPD? Um, I, the only one that I know of that went at, were inside the buildings were uh, Capitol Police. Can we see this security? false alarm at this point? Um, uh, I think at this point we can say that um, we found no confirmation that there was an active shooter. Um, and that this may have been a, a, a bogus call. Any idea how they got in the building? Who, who got it? How, if, if there was a sh uh, person in, in gear or with a gun? Well, that was one of, one of the issues that, um, uh, of course, we, we had, uh, that we were aware of was that we have officers uh, screening people at every entrance uh, that's open. And so it would, um, 
would have been unusual for anybody to be able to get in. I'm not saying it's impossible, or, uh, but um, certainly we had to work on the assumption that somebody may have gotten in. But um, we had no indication from all the entry points that we staffed that anybody uh, came in that was suspicious. Chief Ranger, you said that there's not going to be fencing tomorrow. Are there going to be any security precautions, bike racks, increased presence? There, there, we, we have a security plan in, in place, yes. Can you elaborate on that? No, I, I will not. So, all right, thank you all very much. Thank you.